Well, Denver has just had its March snowmageddon, but how was the market? Is it cold? Is it flat? Is it hot? Let's check it out. It is time for your March market update. Hey everybody, it's Allison Wall with Live South Denver, your real estate strategist and realtor for the South Denver area. Diving right into the numbers, we saw 3,300 homes go under contract in February. That was only up 200 homes from the month before. That did put us up 6% from the previous month, but we're unchanged from this time last year. Now, we saw 2,800 closings in February. This was 800 more than the month before. Now that was a good size increase. We're up 42% from January and up 5% from the year before. New listings for February hit 4,000. This was an increase of 750. That's a pretty good number. We were up 25% from the month before and up 22% from this time last year. We finished February with 4,800 homes on the market, giving us 1.71 months of inventory. This is actually a decrease from where we were in January. We were at 2.23 months of inventory that month. We really had a nice strong market coming out of January into February. The average days on market even dropped by two days from 49 to 47. The bigger drop was in the median days on market though. That went from 36 to 24. All right, let's get on to those February home prices. The average closed price for all homes in February was $668,000. That's actually up $14,000 from the previous month. That's an increase of 2% from the previous month and up 3.5% from this time last year. For single family homes, the average price is $744,000. We're up $12,000 from the previous month. That's up 2% month over month and up 3% from this time last year. For condos and townhomes, we're averaging $464,000. That's only up $2,000 month over month, and we're also not really changed from this time last year. Over to median home prices, the median sold price for all homes is $575,000 for February. That's up 10%, so an increase of about 2% month over month. Compared to this time last year, it's an increase of 3.5%. The median price on single family homes is $627,000. Compared to last month, we're up about 2%, and compared to last year, we're up 5%. Condos and townhomes are coming in at $400,000 for a median price, which is up $11,000 month over month. That puts us up 3% compared to January, but we're still unchanged from this time last year. With these increases in the median price, the average price, and the decrease in months of inventory, it probably won't surprise you to know that our list price to sales price ratio has increased. In one month, we've moved from 96.1 to 97.8. So what are the takeaways? Well, inventory, yes, it dropped drastically from January into February. We don't expect that trend to continue in a straight trajectory through March and into April, where we're gonna be in this deep and dark void of no inventory, say back into a week or two weeks of inventory like we saw during periods of COVID. What we saw was that in the early part of the year, we had these nice low rates relative to where we've been and buyers just came out of the gates after the holidays ready to buy homes. And so that's what happened. Then rates just started ticking up and ticking up and ticking up. Well, the sellers are generally not out in full force that early in the year. And so as rates were ticking up and inventory wasn't quite there in full effect yet, and buyers have started to just sit back and say, it's okay, I'll, I'll wait until there's a lot more inventory to choose from. Plus, if the feds are really going to be pulling back and rates might drop later in the year, then there's not a ton of incentives for buyers to just jump on anything right now. They might actually get a lower rate without refinancing if they wait a few months, or they may have a shorter period of time of paying a higher rate until they refinance. So the market's been good, it's not been slow. It's just not been on fire like it was in those first couple weeks where we saw this quick drop in inventory. This is really important for you if you're a seller to know because I am seeing homes linger and sit on the market because there are some sellers who are trying to price for the coming market. They're thinking, well, the big selling season's coming. I'm just gonna price thinking that a buyer is ready to snatch it up ahead of time. They're ready to take mine off the market in advance of the spring selling season that's coming in a few weeks. 
that is not working. I am seeing price cuts and price cuts and price cuts from homes that have been pre-priced too soon, too much. The home that might sell for 30,000 more in six more weeks, that might be fine in six weeks. It's not okay today. So sellers, don't get ahead of yourselves. Buyers are looking for a home that's priced right, even priced aggressively. Then multiple offers happen. I have had several multiple offer situations all in this early part of the year. But price aggressively in favor of the buyer. Don't price it aggressively in favor of yourself. It is backfiring big time. My last word is just gonna be about builders. I am really seeing builders soften up incentives, pull them back, phase out these larger forty dollars and $50,000 financing incentives to buy down rates. They're increasing their prices, you know, $10,000 on the base price while at the same time backing down on incentives. So if you're thinking that you're gonna wait to get something from the builder that's a really great deal, you may not be in the best position. Not all is lost. There are still gonna be some good builder deals, but it just may not be a home on the best lot. So if you're wanting to have the best of everything, we're coming into the season where you're gonna start paying for it. As always, thank you so much for hanging out with me for the market update. If you have questions, thoughts, you wanna talk about where your footing is as a seller or a buyer in the Denver market, please reach out. You know, I'd always love to connect and see y'all next week.